Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not subscribed to. Now, Chinese who are doing business in the Republic of Kenya, they are panicking seriously. After Moses Kuria came out hitting hard on China Square, it is not something like business as usual to Chinese. Despite of the um, ambassador or foreign affairs cabinet minister from China coming out to appeal to the government, requesting the government to correct the issues that Moses Kuria came out giving out when it comes to China Square is not being, of course, well received by Chinese. I want to say, when you look at Chinese, a bigger percentage of them have invested in Kenya. And not only in Kenya, several Chinese have come out to invest in Africa, different countries. But when you look at percentage of Chinese who have come out to invest in Kenya, in Africa, them also... Um, there are a bigger percentage of them in uh, Kenya. But since the cabinet, mini cabinet minister of trade and investment, Moses Kuria, came out hitting hard on their businesses, it is not once, it is not twice. It is something that has been there frequently. You do understand, there was, uh, I think last year before, where um, Matiani, Fred Matiani came out intervening toward a certain hotel where a Chinese was the owner, and you find that the employees were Kenyans. And as employees were Kenyans, you could find that a repercussion was so little to these workers, that if you report to the work late, then you are, be, you are to be keen, several of them. And then those, some of them also came out being the, um, the, um, transported back to, to their country. The issue here is it has reached at a point that the government of China and the government of Kenya, it seems like there are certain wrangles. Not because of William Ruto is not having good terms with the president of China, but because of those William Ruto has employed them or appointed them as a cabinet minister, people like Moses Kuria, are bringing a lot of trouble when it comes to the relationship between Kenya and China. I've seen the reports and also the statement of Moses Kuria that entails the China Square, that they want Kenyans to own that China Square. Then I'm asking myself, if these people came into our country as investors, when they started their businesses, they were given all the requirements that were needed. So for us now to be told that they did not do whatever it is required in the law, then these people are just playing with the minds of Kenyans, not even the minds of Chinese, but the minds of Kenyans. Yesterday, I analyzed a video of William Kabogo coming out storming hard that you find that Moses Kuria is playing with the minds of Kenyans because you find a cabro brush uh, at China Square is being sold at 400 Kenya shillings. When you look at Gikomba, the cabro brush is being sold at 950 Kenya shillings. Where will you go and buy a cabro brush? Where at China Square it is 400, Gikomba it is 950. Then uh, Kabogo came out saying that who is playing, uh, who is fooling who? Because it seems like Moses Kuria fighting for the poor, but not in real sense. This person is not fighting for the poor. Why are, you, why are you fighting those people who are bringing their goods, selling to Kenyans at affordable price, yet we uh, as Kenyans, he is trying to tell us that he is fighting for manufacturers. Let me say not really even manufacturers, retailers. So if you are fighting for retailers, who is going to fight for manufacturers? So that is the problem that Moses Korea is bringing uh, between the China government and the China, uh, the, the Kenya government, because it seems like we are di discriminating um, 
Chinese. But again, Chinese have come out to request William Samaruto that if any case he is not going to intervene towards whatever Moses Kuria came out telling the Chinese who invested at China Square, then this is just pure discrimination to them. Because as long as uh, Kenya is a, a, an economy um, a, 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 a country, you cannot discriminate that it is only locals should do their business. How will you encourage that it is only locals that should do their business? Locals must be manufacturers, they must be retailers, and also they must be consumers. You know, some people in the Republic of Kenya, they are not willing to be manufacturers. They are not willing to be retailers, but they are willing to be consumers. So if you're telling the, the, the consumer that I want you to be manufacturer, I want you to be retailer, and he is not willing, he has other business to do, but he wants to consume the goods, which is bringing tax to the government, and again on the other side is assisting Kenyans to have affordable price goods and commodities. Well, when you look at Nyamakima, Gikomba, there are certain uh, goods that their prices are so high that is not favorable for ordinary Kenyan. So I think uh, Kenyan president should come out to intervene or have a crucial meeting with Moses Kuria because the foreign, um, foreign affairs PS, um, I think uh, he's called Sam, came out saying that whatever Moses Kuria said, it was not in accordance to law and in accordance to what they, they expected. Because, as you know, in Kenya, it has been uh, outlined that the, 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 there must be a favorable competition or a fair competition, which the China Square, they are doing that. They were given licenses, they were given the, the authority to have their businesses, and they have employed many people there. They have customers there, which, of course, is giving Kenyans tax. Then you are telling me, so far as you speak, the China Square has been closed almost four days or three days. People are passing a lot of challenges. So the president must come out to intervene on behalf of Kenyans and also on the behalf of those Chinese who are investors. Because it will be so hard if there are certain investors, they're having good intention to our country. But as long as they have seen and realized that Kenyans are discriminating other foreign uh, investors, then they will choose to go to other countries in Africa which according to us, it will be a big loss to us. Because when you look at even the way Moses Kure is arguing, he's arguing uh, in uh, his out um, thinking capab capability that you look, I'm favoring you. Moses Kure is not favoring anyone for closing the Chinese, uh, China Square. He's just fighting the poor because the poor are all, uh, always there buying affordable goods. So to tell K K Kenyatta University to buy this China Square, for what purpose? Inaenda kusaidia au nanini? You know? So Moses Kuria must understand that whatever he said, it is out of order. He cannot come to discriminate investors who are having good intention. I heard some people saying that Moses Kuria is having a grudge with Chinese because we are having a, their debts. So if you have a debt of someone, then you should have a grudge. It's not true because if someone one day he assisted you with his resource or his money, then it reached at a point that you are discriminating their people. Will it be possible for them next time to assist you? They will not. And that is why Moses Korea must come out to reason out or else things might not be favorable. Not only Moses Korea, but the Republic of Kenya. So William Ruto as a president of the Republic of Kenya must come out to intervene or else things are going astray, which they will re realize late when Chinese investors who are willing to um, and having good intention to this country will go to other countries. We have been told some of them are going to Uganda, some of them are going to Tanzania, some of them are going to, South Af in, uh, to, to, to Rwanda, some of them are going to South Africa, some of them are going to Nigeria because Kenya, those who are given offices, they are such a uh, people with a discriminatory um, decision towards the, 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 the investment. So Moses Kuria is just incompetent to hold that office because you cannot hit investors day in, day out. It will not be favorable. 
So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.